Hey people, this is Wartar. Just gonna make an attempt to explain this monstrosity of a shape that I've created because I haven't really done a good job of explaining it. And uh, yeah, maybe one or two people will find it helpful, so might as well. So I'll just skip over this for now and we'll go straight to how do I make a unit? Or how do I look at damage? Or whatever your heart desires. So, we'll take a look at the good old tippy top Mr. Sora. So the first thing you'll need is definitely some sort of build or gear. So, make your way over to FFB equip. Most important step, don't be a savage, make it dark mode. You want to be able to see. And then you will select your unit, it's dual wield, select whatever item wield stats you want or have on your current gear, LB damage, and fire away. So, we'll make it not use duplicates that don't exist. Okay, looking better. Alright, so we'll put in our stuff. So, it's really straightforward. Attack is the attack. Pop bonuses, 3 and 9. 97 Easy weapons Even easier Okay, LB damage 300% Okay, so you obviously want to pick the right thing for the kind of unit you want to get a chain count just for your default chains. You want your chain mod, Sora, Absolute Beast, obviously has six. And then you're pretty much set. I mean, you can have two different sets of gear. You can obviously toggle it. With these, you do need to have something written here for it to actually calculate. So I'm just going to call that shit burst. And then make our way, big old LB, 150x. Let's slap that in there. And then next up you'll probably want to hit count of some sort, because 8 doesn't really match. 24. And even 24 wouldn't match because it's a weighted chain so to be honest slap in cap no cap and it goes to six okay so if it's an lb have to put something in this column and that'll calculate it you can just watch big jump Obviously, it's using 300% increase. Bam. Buffs, imperils, damage. Pretty self explanatory. Looking at 300%. He's got an imperil. And he's even got a buff. Cool. So. For his LB, one thing that makes him absurdly strong, he's got a 250%. Slap it in there. Pretty insane damage already. So, very last thing is going to be vision cards. 
which are insane yet again. So the biggest, bestest one, 110. I'm gonna make sure we add that to the base stat in this field or this field, same difference. And then it's gonna give us a massive boost. Let's go plus 400 attack. Easy. And there you are. If you want to compare killers or use some sort of boost, slap it in here. Bam. There you are. Put in whatever your stats are. However bad. Doesn't matter. Slap in whatever you want and you'll get the right number. As long as you've got this, as long as you've added in these couple of fields, good to go. You can ignore this, anything in red, whatever, you just leave it, leave it, ignore it, ignore it. Just believe me that this absolute spaghetti load of nonsense is correct. This one's not so bad. This one's not so bad, but there's just a lot of spaghetti here. Just pretend it doesn't exist and uh, you'll be right. And then this stuff here you can mostly ignore, but um, it's basically basically an override. So. Over here you've got parameters for whatever. The race, buffs, LB buffs, all that good stuff. So if you want to check whatever, 350%, we can see the sort of benefit it would give him. So it's just something to look for if you're comparing new supports or whatever imperil boosts cool nice little bump and there's obviously a bunch of other stuff here you can pick the race from here Sora's insane versus human for example there's another set of gear over here if you want to put in different attack and lb values if you want to quickly compare the two easy enough so if you're adding in your own unit it's a little bit different you can't really just put in whatever name because it just it won't exist so it basically draws from this which is a lot less complicated than it looks so you just have to add in basically these two names of your unit, BS, Brave Shifts, chuck in something for neutral, it's the most important one, but you can slap the other two in as well, and that'll just make sure it doesn't break whenever you're using this, or whenever you're using this. I think it's really about it to be honest. Fill in this, give some numbers, modify the hit count if you want. Only affects the first ability, obviously. LB boosts or jump boosts. Pretty much ignore this. Buffs in perils. Times damage, like DV damage, element boost. Whatever you want. Change these if you need. Ignore these if they're just crap. Ignore this. Ignore the red. Put in your weapons. Obviously, if it's two hander, you can put in your variants. Pretty straightforward. If it's dual wield, you can put in dual wield. I mean, we'll give it a test. Dual wield. 100. 120 
whatever stats. And you can see it calculates per weapon. It's really all about all there is to it. Magic. Obviously it ignores this. Weapons don't do anything for magic. Yeah. I think that's about it to be honest. I mean I'm sure I missed something and it's probably still confusing as fuck but if you're looking to add to the main page, I mean, slap in whatever you want. There you go, it shows up. Um, I mean, there's gear, change the gear set between those two gears. Obviously, it's on spirit damage, it's only taking the passives, obviously. I haven't built a gear set for every single race. Not a chance. If you're looking at dummy damage, I mean it's on JP at least, 250 defense, this or overwrite this. You can change your buffs. Support buffs, forget about this, it's broken, forget about that, it's broken, this is also broken. This works, if you want to look at old unit data, problem is it doesn't use a defense counter. Defense stat. So, um, STMs. And there's basically your comparison. So, where are the old units? Right at the bottom, where they belong. Where are the mages? Nowhere to be seen. I guess another thing would be if you um, want to have like a proper rotation and like compare it and you're not quite sure, you can just sort of make your way to your local spreadsheet just yoink it slap it in there what do you know you've got some numbers I think that's pretty much it but yeah, let me know. Peace.